This is example 5 of chapter 5 soil classification and we are given green size analysis data and uh, we also know that the soil is non-plastic okay. so that tells us something about the fine contents so it's going to be silt and we're asked to classify the soil using USCS and for this example so first we're going to again calculate the percent of fines, coarse, and gravel and sand. And we're given this uh, sieve analysis data, we can actually plot the particle size distribution curve. And the reason we need to do that for this example is we need d10, d30, and d60 values to calculate the two coefficients for gradation. In the left-hand side, that's the particle size distribution curve using the sieve analysis data. So we have green size on the horizontal axis. Remember, this is a log scale. And then we have the percent finer or percent passing on the y-axis. Okay. So given this curve, so let's first find the percent of different soil type particle sizes. So we start with percent fine. Okay. So percent fine is, you can actually use this sieve analysis table. So that's a percent finer than number 200 sieve. So that's 3%. Okay. So this, again, this percent passing simply means percent finer. It's the same thing. So percent fine is 3%. Then percent of course is 100% minus 3%. So this is 97%. And then percent of gravel. So percent gravel, and gravel is anything retained on or above number four sieve. So number four sieve, the opening is 4.75 millimeter. And number 200, of course, is 0 0.075 millimeter. Okay. So gravel is anything larger than 4.75. So it's anything retained above number four sieve. So it's going to be 100% minus the percent passing number four, which is 94%. So the difference is a percent retained on or above number four. So that's the percent of gravel, 6%. And then the percent of sand is the difference between coarse and gravel. So you have coarse minus percent of gravel. So 97 minus 6%, so you have 97% minus 6%, 91%. Okay. So you have these percentages, uh, percents for different types of particles. And next, as I mentioned, for this example, we're going to need D values, D10, D30, and D60. And for D values, we need this particle size distribution curve. So let's start with D10. So D10 is particle size corresponding to 10% finer. So you start from 10% finer on the x uh, y axis, and then find the corresponding D value. So that's D10. You can read this from this figure. It's approximately 0.41 millimeter. Okay. And D30, by definition, 30% finer, the particle size corresponding to 30% finer. So start from 30% on the y-axis, and then you get the corresponding d values from the x-axis. So it's a little bit smaller than 1, and approximately 0.96 millimeter. And finally, that d60 value, start from 68% finer on the y-axis, and then get the corresponding d60 value. And this is approximately 1.41 millimeter. Okay. Once you have these d values, then you can calculate these two coefficients. The first one, coefficient of uniformity, defined as d60 over d10. Okay. And if you plug in the values we just read from the curve, this is about 3.44. The other coefficient is coefficient of gradation, C sub C, 
defined as d30 square over d60 by d10. Okay. And again, if you plug in those numbers, this is 1.59. Okay. So that's the CUCC value and also the percent of different types of particles. And with this information, we're going to use table 5.2 again to find the group symbol. So we enter from the left, and the percent of course is 97%. So this is going to be a coarse grained soil. So percent of course is 97%. So it's more than 50% retained above on or above number 200. And percent of gravel is 6%. Percent of sand is 91%. So we have more sands than gravel. So we're going to take this route here, sands. So this statement, so this condition simply means you have more sands in your coarse fraction than, than gravel. So you have 50% more of coarse fraction passes number 4C. So you have more sands than gravel. And we have, again, percent of sand is 91%. Okay. So next, uh, let's look at the fine contents. We have 3% fines. So you have Clean sands with, so that means uh, we have less than 5% fines, so it's a clean sands. And next is that two coefficients. We have Cu and Cc. And for this soil, we calculated Cu. If you look at the values, Cu is 3.44 and Cc is 1.59. Okay. So Cu in this case is smaller than 6. 3.44 smaller than 6. And the CC value in our case is in between 1 and 3, but notice the condition is or. As long as we meet one of these conditions, the soil is going to be classified as polygraded soil. So the group symbol for this soil is SP. So this is group symbol. And once we have the group symbol, then for group name, we're going to use this uh, group name figure. This is part of part of figure 5.4. We start from SP, so that's a group symbol we just found. And personal gravel, remember, is 6%. For this soil, it's 6%. Okay. So it's less than 15%. So the group name is simply polygraded sand. So that's the group name of this soil. So that's a complete classification. Group symbol, SP, and group name is polygraded sand.